here to Section 1 Coaches Association Football Media Day. You want to join, join now by R.C. Ketchum coming down from Dutchess. I appreciate that, Coach. Just give me a little bit of a, a background, Coach Brian Hogan, just about how camp has gone this so far and uh, what you've liked out of the team. Uh, so far, camp has been going very well. Uh, we're way ahead of where we were last year. You know, we had a very young team, and we return, we return quite a bit of, uh, of players on our roster and, and starters. So um, I think we're moving at a lot faster pace. Um, it's been a very physical camp for our kids. They, they've been, you know, chomping at the bit to compete and kind of rectify, uh, rectify last year a little bit. I know. I didn't want to, want to dwell on last year too much. One and eight record. Uh, just, you know, I, do, you, do you talk about last year much? Do you not talk about last year at all, or do you want these players to only focus on what's ahead? No, I, I don't think we have to talk about it much. I think everybody's aware, <laughs> but I, I think everyone kind of has the same goal of um, putting that behind us, but you know, also. Um, Proving that that's not you know that's not who we are. You're, as you said, a lot of starters, uh, a lot of players returning from last year. Do you have a breakdown of starters on either side of the ball that you can think of? I think it's officially we have seven on offense and six on defense. And are these two of the guys? These are two of the guys. All right, introduce me to who you have here tonight. This is Chris Thomason. He started last year for us at, at fullback and linebacker, and that's Jimmy Eglett. He's starting tailback and linebacker as well. Coach is uh, like Chris asked the first one. Coach is very optimistic guy. I think in general, always upbeat. Uh, tell me about, you know, he feels like pretty confident about this group. Tell me why, Chris. I mean, we came in with confidence a lot better than last year. We came in with like a goal, obviously, to be better and to move with a focus. How has camp been? I mean, as you said, he's been more focused, better confidence, but just, I mean, have guys just gotten bigger and stronger also? Is that yes. a big part of it? We have been in the weight room on the off season. We did gain weight a lot because last year we were Obviously, a smaller team all brought up a lot of sophomores. They grew into their varsity <coughs> bodies, and we got yeah, definitely stronger. Did you notice it right away when, uh, in the first couple of weeks, the first couple of days of practice, how much better te the team has gotten overall? Yes, I Either did. You got, yeah, yeah, definitely. Big definitely. difference from last year. I mean, the big difference was we've just been in the weight room in the off season. Guys like me, Raheem. Adebola, that's an incoming junior. He's crazy in the weight room. Chris has been in there. Another lineman, Chris Shedder, has been in there. Con staying consistent and just getting stronger, just taking it day by day and staying consistent, it's really helped us we also coming into this season and into camp. Have a lot more returning varsity mm -hmm. players compared to last year. So we know the tempo, we know the pace, and we're at it. Who are some of the guys who, you mentioned some names, who are some yeah. of the new guys who are going to help fill in some other New other guys, we, we have one big name. Caleb Beaver. <laughs> uh, he could definitely make a difference. And um, yeah. who else? Jez. Jez Real Brooks. Full name. Jez, Jez Real Brooks. <laughs> Jez, Jez Brooks. Jez, Coach knows all the full names. You know nicknames yeah. and you know, last names and stuff. It's a big high school. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know everybody. It's not small. No. Uh, then, Coach, uh, yeah, go ahead. Also... Get some new linemen. Someone who could also help is uh, Anthony Shatter, a brother of a uh, lineman who just came up last year, who's a sophomore playing up. Decided. His brother, twin brother, is playing this year, so he had it, he added some size, and that could definitely help us on the line. One of the things, coach, you have to answer this too. It seems like there's a, a good commitment from, from the guy. What happens when younger players lose and they come back for the senior year? They talk a lot in the offseason mm -hmm. about making that commitment. Have you seen the commitment? A hundred percent. We're the, on top of that, they're also a tight knit group. We have a lot of good kids who are, who, you know, have grown up together. Um, which, you know, it may seem obvious, but that's not always the case in our building. Um, and uh, we, we do have a close knit group. We, we've had a, a a lot of positive practices, just in terms of not how we're executing, but the environment, the atmosphere. You know, people enjoy being around each other. They've enjoyed being together, and and that goes a long way. Open up with Mount Vernon, week one on the road down in uh, Memorial Stadium. I assume that game is going to be. And then you have Scarsdale and Arlington, those two games. Is, that, is it early on maybe a, a time to define the type of team you're going to be in the season you're going to have? Um, I feel like it's going to be a very important few weeks because we, we're opening up with some of the most biggest physical teams that we're going to face. Mount Vernon, Arlington, very physical, big teams. So it's either we're going to be – we're, we're going to have to really just – see how that goes. If it goes bad, learn from it. If it goes good, keep up with it because 
it's a very physical game that we got to play, and we can learn from that. Got to stay healthy and yeah. uh, stay positive. Guys, thanks so much for joining me. Our suggestion, we'll love to see you, mm -hmm. Coach. Thanks. Appreciate you joining. Have a good <laughs> luck. Thanks.